Call the meeting of the City Council to order for Monday evening, November 9th, 2015. Please stand as we salute our American flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America, 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 America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilor Cruz. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to take a moment on behalf of the Council to uh, ask for a moment of silence. The City uh, buried today a longtime public servant that... Uh, Many in the city wouldn't remember, but uh, those of us who have been around a long time have, particularly in Ward 1. He was my predecessor by approximately 60 years, but uh, Eddie Leonard, uh, Edmund Leonard, father of our downtown business uh, uh, liaison, uh, Gary Leonard, passed away this past weekend at uh, the age of 95, and great public servant for the city of Brockton, and uh, we'll miss him and like to have a moment of silence, please. Thank you. Thank you. May he rest in peace. I also want to take time to acknowledge a couple of our uh, new uh, councilors elect that will be uh, joining our, our podium uh, come January. And we all, and uh, at this point, I'd like to introduce to you Ms. Ann Beauregard, uh, councilor elect of Ward 5. <laughs> and our newest, and I guess I'm right on target when I say, and our youngest. Um, Councilor elect from Ward 6, Mr. Jack Lally. Welcome. <laughs> Just to make mention to both of you that Monday evening we'll have our finance meeting, so it would be uh, probably of interest to you to be in attendance so you can watch where you really do your work, and that's where it all takes place is at the finance uh, meeting. So uh, with that being said, we'll uh, start with item number one. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws recommending the City Council authorizes the appropriation of $553,978 from the unappropriated estimate receipts of fiscal 2016 tax levy due growth to various departments. Oh. This appropriation is needed in order to provide funding for the labor costs to be incurred in fiscal 16 for the two purposes proposed collective bargaining agreements between the City and the Brockton City Employees Union. Accepted and placed on file. I have a communication from the CFO relative to the same with a conditional certification as outlined on your agenda. Accepted and placed on file. From the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws recommending the City Council authorize the appropriation of $416,816 unappropriated estimate receipts of fiscal 2016 tax levy new growth to various departments. This appropriation is needed in order to provide funding for the labor costs to be incurred in fiscal 16 for the two proposed collective bargaining agreements between the city and the Brockton City Hall Administration Service Associations. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> Communication from the CFO relative to the same, and once again with a conditional certification. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, recommending that the City Council authorizes the appropriation of $108,355, unappropriated estimate receipts of fiscal 2016, tax levy new growth to various departments, in order to provide funding for the labor costs, including retroactive costs of a collective bargaining agreement between the city and its department heads, union employees, local 888 unit of SEIU for the three-year period of July 1, 2013 through June 30, 2016. Accepted and placed on file. Again, we have a certification from the uh, CFO that is conditional uh, relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the DPW Commissioner requesting to restore $500,000 for the DPW Utilities Division Water Fiscal 16 budget. The funding for this request is to be paid by the anticipated extra revenue from the recently approved water rate increase. The purpose of this request is to restore some cuts to the personnel services, overtime, ordinary maintenance, goods and supplies, EPA mandates, and reimbursements to the general fund. Accepted and placed on file. Yeah. Communication from the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council authorize the appropriation of $500,000 from unappropriate estimate receipts of the Water Enterprise Fund rate increase to Water Enterprise Fund PS overtime, $200,000. Ordinary maintenance goods and supplies, $100,000. EPA mandate, $50,000. 
expense reimbursement to the general fund, $150,000, in order to restore certain cuts made to the water enterprise budget paid by the anticipated extra revenue. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Assistant City Auditor certifying that as of November 2, 2015, there is $49,956.12 of available funds in the Fire Department reimbursable overtime revolving account. The funds were not included on the tax recap calculation as a source of funds. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of the Fire Department requesting renewal of the revolving account for reimbursable overtime and the amount of $50,000 for hazmat team overtime, overtime costs associated with fire alarm operators who receive 911 EMD training each year for technical rescue overtime for three firefighters who are members of the Plymouth County Technical Rescue Team who train several times a year, and overtime costs for the signal division associated with traffic signals knockdowns. The estimated total reimbursable overtime in a given fiscal year would be nearly $50,000, and a revolving account funded at that level should be sufficient. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor in accordance with the provisions and stipulations of Section 53E and one half, Chapter 44 of the Mass General Laws, recommending the authorization of a revolving fund for fiscal 2016 for the purpose of funding overtime expenditures in the Fire Department to be paid from reimbursements to the City from third parties for authorized overtime. The Fire Department Reimbursable Overtime Revolving Fund shall receive the receipts of payment from reimbursements for overtime expenditures from various sources for such purposes as hazardous ma uh, material team, response and training, 911 emergency dispatch training, and training for Plymouth County Technical Response Team. The expenditures from the fund shall be made in the authority and direction of the fire chief, provided that not more than $50,000 may be so expended during fiscal 2016. The fire chief shall comply with the reporting requirements of Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53 and one half. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. The DPW Commissioner requests the approval of the proposed intermunicipal agreement between the City of Brockton, Town of West Bridgewater, and the new family dollar store in accordance with the intermunicipal agreement. The Town of West Bridgewater and the City of Brockton desire to work cooperatively for the mutual benefit <coughs> of one another to foster economic development along the adjoining borders. The Town of West Bridgewater has no existing common sewer system for collection site. Accepted and placed on file. From the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Okay, we have <coughs> ordered that the restriction of plot 301 Main Street, parcel ID 105-016, <coughs> valued at $1,430, shall be a non-billable lot. Referred to the Committee on Real Estate. Order that pursuant to Mass General Laws Chapter 44, Section 53E, one half, City Council authorize a revolving fund for fiscal year 2016 for the purpose of funding overtime expenditures in the fire department to be paid from reimbursements to the city from third parties for authorized overtime. The fire department reimbursable overtime revolving fund shall receive the receipts of payment from reimbursements for overtime expenditures from various sources for such purposes, hazardous material team response and training, 911 emergency dispatch training, training for the Plymouth County technical response team. The expenditures from the fund shall be made on the authority and direction of the fire chief, provided that not more than $50,000 may be so expended during fiscal 2016. Fire Chief shall comply with the reporting requirements of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53 and one half. Referred to finance. <clears throat> Ordered that the City Council authorize the Mayor to enter into the intermunicipal agreement between the City of Brockton, Town of West Bridgewater, and the new family dollar store. Referred to finance. Have an appropriation of $553,978 from unappropriate estimate receipts of fiscal 2016, tax levy new growth to various departments. Refer to finance. Appropriation of $108,355 from unappropriate estimate receipts of fiscal 2016, tax levy new growth to various mm -hmm. departments. 
referred to finance. Appropriation of four hundred sixteen thousand eight hundred sixteen dollars <throat> from unappropriated estimate receipts, fiscal two thousand sixteen, tax levy new growth to various departments. Referred to finance. Appropriation <clears throat> of five hundred thousand dollars from unappropriated estimate receipts of unappropriated estimate receipts of water enterprise fund rate increase to water enterprise fund. Personal service overtime, $200,000. Ordinary maintenance, good supplies, $100,000. EPA mandate, $50,000. Expense reimbursement to the general fund, $150,000. Refer to finance. Resolved that the Parkton City Council calls upon an elected official, the U.S. Senate and U.S. House of Representatives, to oppose the TPP and any similar trade deals if they fail to restrict the misguided and failed policies of the past. Referred to finance. Mr. Chairman. Anything comes? I just Councilor Sullivan. I wanted to, uh, before we, we go into uh, the statement we need to make about the last stated, I just wanted to, yes. if I could, Go if ahead. I could, Mr. President, Go right ahead, Stan, please. Um, yes. as you uh, last uh, two weeks ago, actually, you uh, set up a subcommittee <coughs> relative to Aquaria. Uh, it's myself, Councilor Cruz, uh, Councilor Dubois, slash State Rep Dubois, and Councilor at Large uh, Rodriguez. I am going to be calling that subcommittee this coming Thursday, which is November 12th. It's going to be 6 o'clock. It will be timely posted. We will be meeting in there at 6 o'clock. And then those uh, colleagues are on the Ordinance Committee. Uh, I will be calling uh, an ordinance committee. The agenda has already been sent, and it will be next Monday, which is the 16th. It will be at 6 o'clock, an hour before we finance uh, committee meeting. Thank you, Mr. Very President. Very good. Thank you. That. Thank, Thank you, you. Councillor. Mr. President. Uh, Councillor Cruz. Also, before we get into that last item, also on Monday night, the 16th, at 6.50, there will be a meeting of the uh, Public Safety Subcommittee. There's one small item that needs to be taken care of. It will be posted, and so if you're on the... Uh, on the public safety, please be here. Councilor, is that 550 or 650? 650. It'll 650? Take only, take only okay. a minute or two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Councilor. And, and just, Councilor, just so you're, you do recall, we're going to have finance meeting at 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, on that evening as well. I just also want to bring to your attention, uh, I think we may have gotten an email in regards to it, the, the Trinity Development, which is the old enterprise. They're going to be having um, an open uh, ribbon cutting ceremony this Thursday, this Thursday at 10.30 a.m. And as far as I know, I believe the uh, Veterans Park should be completed as well. So those of you that can make it, um, I would uh, ask that you do. And if, if you can't, it's understandable. It is during the day, but it will be 10.30 um, Thursday morning. Council Dubois. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, may I have a moment of personal privilege? Yes, you may. So, as it turns out, there are seven more Mondays until the end of 2015. That means seven more Mondays until I'm no longer the Ward 6 City Councilor, but not seven more meetings. Mm -hmm. So I would be remiss not to take this opportunity to express my early thanks to every member of this body for all your service to me and my own personality and my own working style that has been warmly embraced and encouraged and has uh, allowed me to flourish to the position that I now hold and I'm so honored to hold as a state representative. And I'm happy because Ward 6 has always elected nonconformists that to welcome another nonconformist in so many roles, but obviously a great choice to the Ward 6 City Council seat in Jack Lally. And um, until, we, until we meet again, I will have another personal privilege to honor my 10 years here because I still feel so much melancholy leaving all of you and no longer spending my Mondays with you <laughs> in service to our great city. So thank you very much. Thank you, Council. <laughs> Councilors, just, uh, just also, uh, just to remind you that don't forget this Wednesday is Veterans Day, so there will be a Veterans Day parade, which will be held here in the city, and it will begin at 10 o'clock a.m., so that's Wednesday morning, 10 o'clock a.m., and I believe it is going to end up right here out in our new um, City Hall Plaza uh, for the ending for a uh, ceremony as well. Mr. Chairman, I've been Mr. asked uh, if I could, I won't use as many SAT words mm -hmm. as my colleague, um, but our own Nubi Rato, uh, documentarian extraordinaire, he will be premiering his new documentary, Out of Bounds, which features a lot of Brockton residents that were interviewed for um, that movie at the Randolph Showcase Cinema. Doors open at 6.30, the show starts at 7.00. Tickets are available at newbieproductions.com, or if anyone knows him, they can contact him. But I, I know a little bit about the movie, and it's really, really great. So I'd really love for the residents to support this gentleman. Thank you, Council. Thank you, sir. Any other business? We need a, a motion to go into uh, an executive session. 
Motion to move into executive session. Second. Motion has been made and second that we're going to be going into executive session and, and that's to discuss strategy in respect to pending litigation as an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the lit litigating position of the public body. As chair, I state that an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the litigating position of the public body. The motion has been properly second as well and I'm going to ask for a roll call vote. Um, <coughs> Madam Chair, Madam Clerk, I should say. Councillor Azak? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Dubois? Yes. Ionieri? Yes. Monahan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Studensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten present and ten in the affirmative. The council will now uh, go into executive session. That's going to close the public part of, of this meeting, and then we'll adjourn from the executive session.